Yo, what's up guys, it's Matt, welcome back to a new video with Japan and today we'll go back to Nakano Broadway and we'll be hunting for retro video games so don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the bell uh, let me show you so let's start with our first tour with cool retro video games so here uh, and the windows they have a lot of very expensive and rare uh, Super Famicom, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn games uh, let's start with the top. You can see some that I can zoom in. It's about for $150 to $800. Um, for example, we have a Vampire Killer, so Konami Famicom for $240. Uh, oh, we have Mother 1 and 2 for $80, $80 let's say. Dungeon and Dragon for $130. Uh, we got some Dreamcast, Sega Saturn over there. Um, some more Famicom game, Fireman for $90. Uh, I'm not sure of the name, uh, maybe McDonald, $150. Some Rockman, of course, classic, uh, about $80. We got some. Uh, uh, anything else in here? Of course, Dragon Ball, hundred dollars over there. Super Famicom with the box. And I think the most expensive thing actually here, you have the original soundtracks, and Gambare Goemon is one thousand four hundred dollars. That's absolutely insane. Uh, but that's pretty cool though. And then you have a Donkey Kong, Super Donkey Kong, for three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, expensive, the original soundtrack. Uh, we got a cool Sega Saturn for $80, uh, white version. Uh, anything else? Uh, we got a Game Boy Advance over there for $100. They're a bit expensive. Uh, another, you have other ones over there, $100 too. But anyway, let's take a look inside the store. Uh, they have some cool stuff everywhere. Um, first, let's start with the Game Boys. So they are selling individual uh, explanation manuals for about five to ten dollars, I guess. So we saw the fireman in the window here, it's about ten dollars. Um, some Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games. I don't think there is anything super rare. Oh, maybe just Model Three for $35 around. This is the only really rare and expensive one. Dragon Ball, $8. Uh, yeah, the rest is a bit, that's like a bit a dollar, five dollars. Nothing like spectacular. Uh, $10. Yeah, no, the rest is okay. We got the Nintendo DS, but I don't know if it's Japanese, but uh, this one doesn't have manual, doesn't have, maybe the, the, game, the game is not working properly, so not worth it. They have this window as well, they have other uh, cool video uh, games. You can see here you have the original, oh, I think it's the original soundtrack, sorry, from uh, Prince of Persia, for example, for $70. Uh, here you have the whole video game sections. Um, oh, you got some PlayStation games as well. Uh, for about, oh, it's expensive actually, from 100 to 200 dollars. Oh, well, you get a original Game Boy Color Zelda for 50 dollars with the box. It's pretty cool. Uh, game Boy for 100 dollars. With the box, that is pretty cool. This actually, usually, I find them without the box. Like for example, like here at the bottom, uh, there is a Game Boy right here for three thousand dollars. And uh, let me zoom in. I think it says some of the buttons are not responsive, and also there's apparently a scratch somewhere in the screen, but I cannot see. And it's about it's about twenty five dollars, which is not expensive. The buttons seem okay, I guess. But I mean, why not? If you just want to collect 
you can buy it. Uh, we got uh, Game Boy Colors box, uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, PSP for $100, Game Boy Advance for $60, uh, Game Boy Pocket for $70 with the box, which is really cool in different colors. Uh, we got some uh, Game Boy games with the box. Uh, Tetrix for about $15. Uh, Tetris Adventure 2 for $65. Oh. Uh, pretty expensive actually. Uh, Tetris DX for $10. Plastic. Naruto. Eight dollars. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anything for the Rockman, of course. Like I said, classic. Forty-five dollars. We got Rockman World Three. We got three and four right here. Thirty dollars both. Final Fantasy Advance. Fifty dollars. I just can show you a little bit more games if we look around. Okay, I don't know what this game is. One ten dollars. Uh, I think that's it for game. But I can show you more Super Mario as well. Uh, we can go to the classics of really retro, uh, retro, retro video games. Uh, we got expensive one, so Sonic Win, uh, Sonic Wings for forty-five dollars. The rest are uh, not really expensive. Sorry if the music is loud, by the way. Um, we get some Famicom games. Well, these are like really, really, really old. The Ninja Turtles for $15. Uh, some cool games. Those I don't know the names, it's not my generation to be really honest with you guys. $10. I started with actually the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1, so that's what I know from my childhood. Star Luster, Star Buster, Star Luster. I can just show you around with this, it would be easier. Sky Destroyer, Super Mario USA. Uh, another Super Mario. That's some cool games, actually. Uh, the Rockman, of course. $25. If you're a Famicom fan, then you can look up here. And uh, the shop is here. Premium anime shop, Lashing Bang. Let's take a look next at the Mega Drive. Um, okay, I know a game that I know really well Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Really nice. Uh, for $70. Looks pretty cool. In Japanese, obviously. Nice, and they have they have three of them for sixty and uh, thirty dollars. So this one, clearly, you can see in red. I cannot. Well, the writing is a bit. Uh, I guess no manual, and it's not working properly. Got software here, two. For let me zoom in fifteen dollars. So in the world of illusion, Mickey Curse Shadow Dance forty dollars. Uh, not sure what this game is. Force Shining Force again.
Morgan the Bob man. Okay, next we got Super Farming Con game with the box, which is really cool. Fifty dollars. Lose ten dollars. Let me just show you the boxes so you can see a little bit. Eight dollars. Pretty cool. Twenty dollars. But you got some Mario that I know. Is it expensive one here? Oh, got this one for fifty-five dollars. Uh, what is it? Sara Manja. Sara Manja. Looks kind of cool. Nice. I don't know, let me zoom in if you see any interest in game. Oh, we got a oh, Superman. Three thousand. Let me zoom. Three thousand yen, so twenty-five dollars, something. Fiftieth uh, birthday. That's really nice. Let me check what's wrong with this game. But apparently the box is a bit crushed and a bit dirty apparently, but it doesn't look really that bad to be honest. It looks in decent condition, maybe inside is really crushed or maybe a little bit here, but not that bad to be honest for like $30. Uh, any other games? Oh, of course. Another classic. Hammering Harry, I love that game so much, especially on uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy, it's just so much fun. I don't know if you never played this game, it's amazing. One of the best games on Game Boy. Uh, Nintendo, okay. uh, Nintendo 64 will do after. Uh, show you some Super Famicom game. Aladdin. We got the classic games here. The Donkey Kong, three, nine dollars with the box. That's pretty cheap, actually. Well, apparently there are a lot of problems with them. Uh, if you see a lot of red kanji and all that, this one seems to be in better condition. Ten dollars. Super Tetris, seven. Street Fighter that I played $10 with the box seems in pretty good condition okay Oof, at the bottom let me zoom in uh, we got Star Fox Ooh, Star Fox ten dollars. Uh, I know this game is pretty popular. Uh, let me take a look. Huh. So yeah, the box is like slightly crushed, but it's only like seven dollars. And online, like if you if it's from Japan, you can sell it for at least like fifty dollars or sixty dollars. Some people sell it for like eighty. Uh, so. I don't have a Super Famicom, but that could definitely be a buy and sell it. The box is so-so, uh, but I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna think about it. A Contra, of course, $50. Well, this game is very popular. 
Uh, let's go to, of course, what I know probably, I guess, the most because I I play a lot of them PS1, PS2. Uh, the PS2, of course, being the the most sold console ever. Uh, let's take a look. Tomb Raider, six dollars. Strikers, 1945. We also have some PlayStation 2 games, so the King of Fighter 2002. Uh, it's about forty dollars. Pretty, pretty rare actually. This game. Um, we got just a bunch of them, a bit everywhere. This is beautiful. Oh, we got a cool. Oh, we got the hack. How much? Only eight dollars. That is pretty cheap. Volume one, two, three. Street Fighter, the anniversary edition. In Japanese, of course. One of the problem, I guess, with video games in Japan is that it's only for Japan. So you need like a, I don't know, like a Japanese PlayStation, or it's like even PlayStation Four. It says for Japan only, and it says like Elder Ring for forty dollars. Um, yeah, it's too bad, but yeah. And this is something I might buy today. Is that they have those kind of surprise packages for 990 yen so it's let's say seven eight dollars and you can see for example surprise package nintendo 64 psp we have ps3 ps3 psp psp and they have more here and if i could find a ps1 that could be nice ps3 again oh they have a a PlayStation for literally 1,000 yen. That's like eight dollars. It's nothing, and it seems to be in great condition and no problems at all. And just next to it, we have a Super Famicom with two controllers for twelve dollars, and it doesn't seem that there is anything wrong with this. So pretty cheap if you want to buy here. Uh, so, I'm gonna buy on the PS1 uh, surprise pack. There's one over there on the in the corner, and I'm gonna open it at home and see if I can find any cool, you know, games. So it looks like kind of like this. So surprise pack for junk games, ten games. You have ten. We'll see. All right, so let's open the pack. But first, I found that in uh, Nakano Broadway. I found uh, this uh, Star Wars comic with uh, toys 
from Dark Horse Comic and the company who made everything together is Hasbro and uh, made in 2007. Uh, so this is a reprint of the comic uh, number 81 with Boba Fett. Uh, pretty good condition actually. I bought it for 2,500 yen and so it's like about $20 roughly. And I think online it sells for 70, 80 dollars. So a pretty good deal actually. It looks really cool. So I'm gonna keep them in the, in the box, I think. Oh, uh, but let's go to this one. So the surprise bag. So this is 990 yen. So it's about like roughly, uh, I don't know, eight dollars or so. And you have 10 games. So they are junk, so PS1 games. So I'm very uh, curious to see uh, what's inside. So let's open it. Okay. Game no. Oh, okay. Game no one. Crash Bandicoot. Uh, number the first one. Uh, Nineteen ninety six. No, pretty nice actually. Well, the box is in pretty uh, bad condition, but. Uh, you have the manual and CD, so a game that I played many, many, many times, so kind of cool. Uh, second game, we got Midnight Run Road Fighter 2. This one I've never played it, so 1995, I believe. Uh, the box is okay, in okay condition, everything is Japanese, of course. Oh, it's kind of nice. Uh, second game, the uh, third game, sorry. Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, this is a classic. 1998 or something? Yeah, 1998. Uh, the box is kind of a lot of scratches, but uh, in decent condition as well. Nice. Never played it though. Okay, number four. This uh, Japanese game. Uh, what is it? Kotomo Ishiyo Doko Demo Ishiyo Doko Demo Ishiyo I have no idea about this game to be honest uh, Maybe about cats or something uh, The other one is uh, What is it? Dioga League It's a baseball game a Japanese one It looks pretty cool actually in the back, uh, boxes, yeah, so so condition. Uh, but you got uh, manual and CD as well. Uh, yeah, the CD in not great condition, too. Come on, go. We got this one, uh, what is it with the Yamanote line? So, about trains, uh, so train conductors. Nice, I don't know much about it. The box is in okay, not too bad condition. Yeah, cool. Uh, we got another game, uh, a Thousand Arms. Uh, the box, well, a lot of scratches, looks in okay condition. Kind of products, you have the manual, and then two CDs actually, and this one. Ooh, it's kind of hard to close. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, nice. Uh, we got still some more. Ah, okay. Well, finally, a game that I really like Biohazard 2. Uh, so, with two CDs, uh, well, boxes, the boxes have scratches, so you have to, yeah, two discs. Kind of nice. So, this is a nice found with the Crash Bandicoot. Anything else? Okay, we got Navy Fighters. Well, the box is pretty banged up. Uh, I just saw the new, uh, you know, Top Gun, Top Gun 2. So, uh, yeah, kind of, I'm kind of into planes right now. Um, yeah, I've never played it as well. It looks kind of cool. The images. Um, and then I think we have yeah, one left. Ooh, nice. This one is. Genko, uh, Genso, Suikoden 2. Uh, I think this is the Japanese version, but I think the US version is pretty, a little bit expensive. So 
Uh, it's kind of a nice game. Also, the box is pretty banged up. The manual is a bit dirty. CD2. But it looks nice. Oh, yes. Uh, pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I think probably with all the games that I have, it's definitely worth more than uh, 1,000 yen. Probably, uh, let's say it's worth more than $8. Probably altogether, probably uh, $20, $25 easily. With this one, it's at least five six dollars probably crash bandit could maybe three or four and then uh, biohazard 2 is at least maybe five to ten dollars so yeah that's pretty cool so anyway if you like the video uh put a like comment uh activate the bell subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video cheers